Hey, what's up, Quiet Crunchers? I have a new video, and it is an episode of the old 52. Now, this is where we take old number ones and spotlight them. And these have to be series that have already come and gone, defunct, kaput, no longer with us. They deserve a chance to shine once again. Now, I don't have the first issue of uh, Miss Marvel from the 70s. Uh, now... I've become, like, a big fan of the Carol Danvers, uh, Captain Marvel character. Now, quick explanation. Uh, at being a kid of the 70s, I remember this character. I, I never got a chance to buy any of her uh, comics. I think it was, by the time I really started buying comics, uh, I think her series was already on the way out. Um, but I kept seeing her character, and I knew of her. And she would occasionally pop in here and there. Um, and... Of course, during the mid-80s, she got uh, pretty much uh, put on the bench uh, after uh, the Avengers Annual number 10, and then eventually found her way back into being a superhero. Uh, so I've known of her, but, you know, I've never been, you know, she's never been front and center of my, uh, my uh, fandom. Now, ever since the, the House of M, I've been really noticing the character and really, uh, really digging her. Um... Oh, oh, there is this Iron Man story she uh, was featured prominently in where she had a she had a major drinking problem and it was like a, uh, it was a crossover that went through um, the Avengers books too and uh, her problem was actually front and center of that story. Uh, that's where I really started to notice her and then House of M uh, came along and was like, you know what, this is a pretty cool character. I don't know why I didn't pick up her most recent uh, Miss Marvel series. I heard it was pretty good. Uh, I guess I was too busy buying DC titles. Well, hey, that's no longer an issue. Now, uh, so, I love the new Kelly Sue DeConnick Captain Marvel series. Uh, I, I think it's fantastic. It's won me over, like, pretty much instantly, actually. To the point where I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back and collect this character's history. Um, now, I was going to pick up the individual issues of the 70s books, but, wow, man, that's a... Uh, it's a little tricky. Uh, so what I did was I purchased this uh, trade paperback of uh, the Essential Miss Marvel. Now this is great, by the way. Uh, this is this features issues one through twenty-three of Miss Marvel, uh, Marvel Superheroes Magazine issues uh, ten and eleven, and Avengers Annual uh, number ten has a ton of creators here. Now, of course, this is just the black and white versions, uh, which is why they can print these so cheap. Because, uh, I mean, this is like 17 bucks for all that. So, not too bad. Now, since this is the old 52, I'm only going to be talking about issue 1 here that's uh, that's in this um, con uh, trade paperback. And actually what I'm going to do, uh, I'm still reading this, so once I finish it, uh, I'll do a full review of this whole uh, trade paperback. But, now, let's get on to Miss Marvel number 1. And here's the cover right here. Uh, which, uh, you know, kind of surprised me because it has pretty much the Spider-Man cast in it. It's got Peter Parker, Mary Jane, J. Jonah Jameson. And uh, Carol has given up her... Oh, oh excuse me. This was uh, written by Jerry Conway, who's a big uh, Spider-Man writer, so I suppose, yeah, that, that happened. Uh, John Bashima uh, handles the art. And uh, let's see. What we got here is uh, uh, Miss Marvel uh, swooping in and taking out some uh, bank robbers uh, in kicking their ass pretty easily. Uh, no one's really familiar with her, so they're really surprised. And actually, I guess at this point in Marvel, seeing a woman act like this, uh, in, in, as far as like powers are concerned, because uh, I'm sure they're used to seeing some female superheroes at this point. I mean, you know, Sue, Sto Sue Richards, you know, is of course the Fantastic Four and some of the Avengers. But uh, she, I guess, uh, is different because she is more of a, uh, a power character. I mean, she flies and is super strong. She's actually one of uh, the stronger characters uh, in the, the Marvel heroes. Uh, well, she takes them out pretty easily. Uh, but hey, uh, the Scorpion was kind of like part of that gang, and he uh, he got away. Uh, now, of course, the Scorpion has a long, long hatred for J. Jonah Jameson. That's what essentially the story is about. It's, it's uh, the, the main plot is the Scorpion... Uh, getting together another revenge plot against uh, J. Jonah and Jameson out to destroy him. But until then, we're uh, getting to know slightly uh, Carol Danvers, who has given up her job in security uh, because of, uh, 
what happened uh, with Captain Marvel, which explain, which gets explained in issue two, by the way. Uh, and she has uh, become a writer, and now she's actually an editor of J. Jonah uh, Jameson's uh, Woman magazine. So, yeah, uh, guess who that target audience is? Uh, I'll give you a second to figure that out. Yeah, okay, J. Jonah Jameson is not the best at n naming his magazines, really. Oh, uh, like, uh, let's see, well, we need a magazine for women. Mm -hmm. What are we going to call it? Oh, uh, anyway, oh, uh, let's see. There's not, not too much out besides uh, the essential fighting here, uh, but we get a pretty good, uh, f we get a pretty good fight scene between uh, Miss Marvel and uh, Scorpion. Oh, uh, this issue is uh, spending a lot of time, you know, showing off, you know, what, you know, a powerhouse she is, really. Uh, so it's actually a lot of fun. And also, Carol is at the end uh, trying to figure out what really happens to her. And she has kind of blackout spells. Now, what Marvel was doing essentially earlier with her was kind of what Marvel does. Is the, you know, the, uh, the, the kind of character that is two sides of the same coin, a character that blacks out and becomes somebody else. Uh, a lot of the heroes were kind of possessed, you know, like... like uh, like Hulk and the old Thor, actually, where he would go from D Donald Blake to uh, to Thor and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, it's pretty classic kind of uh, old-school Marvel stuff. Uh, I'm actually kind of glad they dropped that. I think she's a stronger character, not crazy. Uh, but uh, I do recommend, if you can find if you can find any of these uh, issues, hey, go check them out. They're a lot of fun. I dig old 70s Marvel. And this character is, man, has always been pretty strong. Uh, as far as like as a, as a as a real character, and it's amazing that uh, she kind of disappeared for a while. Frankly, um, yeah, uh, highly check it out if you can't find it. Uh, this is like what is this? Seventeen bucks. That's a good deal. Uh, I will review this in full later. Uh, until next time, push the button, Lindsay.